All right, and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. All right, for our, our next deck, which is going to be Judith Priest. Um, so this is the same list that we played last time. One change that we could make is we could go from 24 to 23 land. That is um, something that we certainly considered after last time we uh, kind of ran into t to spots where we would have too many lands and flood out. I remember that like our last time playing this. Uh, but I still want to keep the 24 land, I think, uh, for now. I want to try it one more time because you know, it's a little... Um, uh, it's like a you know small sample of like the games that happened last time. Because especially my main plan against control decks in our in our sideboard, as you can tell, is Angrath. Angrath is just an awesome card that really want to have uh, basically every game against control where we have our early pressure and they play their Kai's Wrath or their Cry of the Carnariums. Like you know, Cry of the Carnarium in particular is a card that's really good against my deck. And I want to be able to follow up in the mid-game. I want to hit my five land drops and be able to slam Angrath. So that's our plan. Uh, so in, able, in order to hit our five land drops, I think having the 24 lands is uh, pretty necessary. But we'll see. We can see if we could, we may be able to go down to 23 and maybe even put the 24th in the sideboard to bring in when we bring in Angraths. That could be a change. Uh, that we could make, but we'll see how it works out here uh, and make a kind of decision after that. There are there are not any any decks in standard that are brain like people are saying that decks are in chat here are quote unquote brain dead. That is, there is no. No decks in standard that are brain dead. I think that red deck wins, you know, is a very difficult deck to play perfectly. And I certainly do not think red deck wins is a quote unquote brain dead deck in the slightest. I think there are certainly games that. You know, you have a, an awesome hand with red deck wins where you just, um, you know, curve out and things like that. But when when to throw burn spells upstairs, when not to, when to hold stuff, how to play around counter magic, you know, especially how to get, like, the last points in um, is pretty tough. I don't think that that is... I don't think that's necessarily an easy deck to play. If I had to pick the easiest deck to play in standard, uh, yeah, this is my own opinion and everything, but if I had to pick the easiest deck to play in standard, it would be Esper Control. I think Esper Control, you just, for the most part, <clears throat> kind of just try to use your mana as, you know, basically what you play is like dictated by what your opponent's playing for the most part. And you just kind of spend your mana I don't think there's a lot of real difficult decisions in Esper Control. It's my own opinion. Other people have different opinions, of course. That being said, I don't think that... I mean, I, I still think there's a lot of ways that you can mess up when you're playing Esper Control. You can use, like, the wrong removal spell on the wrong thing. And, you know, that comes back and makes you lose the game and all that kind of stuff. No matter how you slice it, Magic is not an easy game. And I don't think there are any decks that are, quote-unquote, brain dead. Yeah, Carvalho, I, I certainly think that Esper is easier than Mono Red. I guess Mono White... I guess I kind of forgot about Mono White. I, I definitely think that Esper is... Like, I really do believe that Esper is easier to play than Mono Red. I think the Mono Red, like, with the burn spells and everything, is actually pretty tricky. I think when you... 
I think the difference between the normal person playing mono red and the and world world class players playing mono red, which I'm not a world class player, but the, the that difference is is huge. But the difference between um, kind of newer players playing Esper and world class playing players playing Esper isn't as big, in my opinion. This is just pretty awkward. I guess I'm just attacking. Siege Gang's really good against Priest. But at least we can get some of these bodies out of here. We're going to be returning our gutter bones back, be able to replay them. And getting a new card. Just a swamp. Daredevil's rough. Hmm. I cannot attack first this time because, um, you know, like Daredevil kills one of my things. Like I won't have like the two creatures to sacrifice to be able to activ activate Priest. Or right, here, let's let's just. Play that thing first, so that uses one of the black mana. Because I, I really want to use a red source. Um, here. Get them yogurt. Judith. Alright, so now... So what if I attack out with the gutter bones now? So if I attack out with gutter bones, obviously a daredevil is going to block a gutter bones. Do they block with Judith? They probably do block with Judith, which then would kill another bones... Then we deal two, and they would get one Judith trigger, which could kill the other one. And I could return all of them. Actually, let's do this. Let's see. All right, so I could, I could activate Priest during combat here. No, let's let damage happen. Yeah, let's let damage happen. So, you know, if I activate priest during combat, they just they get to shoot the unblocked creature, so I don't get to do the damage. Down to one. <laughs> that was the whole point of me playing that mountain and tapping it. To use that mana. Oh well. Doesn't really matter. We had nothing to do with the extra mana. I just kind of wanted to see what would happen there. Yeah, we're playing a Grixis Judith midrange deck. 
Please don't have a land drop. No land drop, no land drop. Ooh, no land drop. All right. Oh wait, I can't just put a gutter bones back in my hand though. Crap, I needed to draw a creature. Crap, I needed to draw a creature. Hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty dead. Alright, so maybe the 24 lands is too much. <laughs> We're sitting here with 10 lands. Yeah, any creature would have let us win the game there. Nothing I could do, though. By not returning two bones instead instead of playing... Yeah. I guess that's 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 something I could have done last turn was just play the... Was just return the two gutter bones. I wanted to have, like, the other attacker down, you know, like... You know, wasn't really picturing this happening. But yeah, I guess I could have just brought... I could have brought two gutter bones back. <laughs> yes, you are crazy for thinking reassembling skeleton is better than gutter bones. Yes. The play the swamp and not the mountain didn't matter. So, our opponent needs to be able to, like, they they just need to chump block the Judith. Like, you know, if I attack with Judith, they just chump block it with a 1-1 one, one so that I don't get to ping them. They need to make sure my Judith doesn't doesn't die. They are not dead at all. I guess they didn't see that line. Because I attack with Judith, they just block with a 1-1. One, one. They would have been fine. Um, Plague Mare is good against... Yeah, our opponent was in a very good spot there. If I attack, they get to just kind of swing back and kill me. I couldn't even attack. Yeah, they were going to win that. Depending on what I drew. I kind of had to draw, like... Like, kind of exactly Firebrand. Or another Judith. Another Judith would have been a good draw. Yeah, our phone is at one. I couldn't get I couldn't get through the, the extra one point of damage though. Because they had a one one they had one ones to chump the Judith. Plague Mare is good. Yeah, I guess it's it's good against Daredevil too. It's good against Daredevil plus the goblin. Kind of want these Angraths and these coils. Hmm. I don't know about Plague Mare. If we lose this game and we're going on the draw, I think I'll cut a cut a land. We'll see. We'll kind of see what their sideboard plan is. I feel like this Plague Mare is only good against. I'm, I'm glad I don't have Plague Mare in the opener. It's like something that I want to have like later on. That's only good against each game commander, and kind of nothing else. Yep, War of the Spark next expansion coming to Arena, uh, end of April. Sure.
I will take that. So they have shock or carnage or carnival, I mean. Yeah, so they have the shock. I'd rather the Midnight Reaper get shocked than Judith. I like cycling there. I would I am like a little worried about having um I'm a little worried about uh, having Midnight Reaper make us lose too much life kind of thing. <laughs> that was a really quick Judith. Wow. Yes, Mitty, I play the events. I think the events are... Oh, no. I think they... Um, are a good... Uh... No, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, outline or good structure? There you go. Good structure for the for playing a whole lot of different decks and everything, and and you know using like comparative records and all that kind of stuff. Playing lots of different decks, I think that's a good structure. That two lander turned into a lot more lands. All right, so let's cut a land on the draw. Still kind of want to play Angrath. And I think I am just off Plague Mare. Even though, sure, it kills like some, some of their little 1-1s. One There's just going to be a lot of times where Plague Mare is not going to be that good. They did keep Daredevil in, which was weird. It's kind of weird they kept Daredevil in. Or I guess, no, we're on the play now. We were on the draw last game. Why do I have that confused? Now we're on the play. I'll play this duress. Just one. Just one duress. Hmm. Mountain, mountain, mountain. All right, we're going to need to draw a black source. a risk. Our deck's not one that mulligans too well. Now I do not want to draw any more lands. No more lands, please. Last turn they wasted an early lava coil also, but then still had one for the phoenix. For my Phoenix, hopefully they don't have more like that. Hostage taker. Hostage taker. Good job, Coil. Yeah, Cho. Yeah, we we talked about that in like at the beginning of the league and stuff too, about that it's a good chance we should be moving a a land to the sideboard. 
so yeah, that's that's certainly some, that's certainly a consideration. Absolutely. Um, new cards. I don't really want to sack these two. I don't really want the Siege Gang to kill anything. But. Oh, cool, yeah. Glad, so you, glad you've been having success with the 23. I think that... that I think that's probably going to be a change we will make here after this league. I don't again I don't think I'd really want to activate priest there to but Maybe I should have Yay, Phoenix. That's where, that's where we're playing four Phoenixes. Want to draw those? Those are good cards. All right, and the opponent picks it up. Got the first one with Judith Priest. Still did draw a lot of lands all those games, so that is... Um, a good, a good uh, indication of moving towards twenty-three lands. Um, Midnight Reaper is a kind of card that d can help you hit your land drops and stuff too. Footlight Fiend is, uh, it's really good with uh, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, right? It's it's better than Firebrand when you have Priest of the Forgotten Gods in play. But I like Firebrand more than Footlight Fiend because I feel like Firebrand, like Firebrand just does a whole lot on its own. It's just a really good individual card, and Firebrand even you know works well with Judith too of like being able to shock things. And I've been just really happy with Firebrand in playing the deck just overall. So I, I wouldn't want Fiend over Firebrand, but when you do have when you are specifically activating Priest the Forgotten Gods, that's the one time that Fiend is better than Firebrand. Um, yeah. We'll do War Boss over Judith. We're still attacking for one extra this turn. It's the same amount of extra damage here this turn, but next turn it's going to be a whole lot more extra damage. Yeah, and as you can tell, we are, again, drawing too many lands, so last turn we were kind of, or last uh, time we played the deck, we were flooding out, and saying it was a kind of a small sample, though. I wanted to play one more league really before changing anything but after these four games we've played so far I think we can pretty safely go to 23 lands favorite deck I've ever played it's honestly probably a a Jeskai Ascendancy deck whenever that was in standard 
And I guess besides Green White Value Town, I play Green White, Value, Green White Value Town in Modern just so much. But as far as far as standard, that is something that comes to mind. Uh, Jeskai Ascendancy, when it, I had like my own tokens build there with um, you know Monastery Mentor and Jace Prince Prodigy and Treasure Cruise and. Stoke the flames and all the stuff you could, could do with that was pretty crazy. No, I don't have an Esper Dovin's Acuity list in Stream Deck. I've actually never, um, I've never played a Dovin's Acuity deck before. Actually, This is the matchup we're going to be bringing in Angrath. Help us finish out those last points of damage. Looks like we're dead. Just get to spend so much mana, you know, like that last turn they just spent 11 mana. So much with the reclamation. All right, so we'll have duress and Angrath. In here. Don't think I need Playcrafter. So Coil will come on out. Priest comes on out. Um, and just like Midnight Reaper. Creatures aren't really dying. Reaper does cost one less than Phoenix. And it's one less power. Is it better than Phoenix? Priest can, I'm going to keep a couple priests. Priest can, we can activate and like make them lose life and trigger Judith and stuff like that to get around the fog killing us. Play two priests over two phoenix. <laughs> yeah, I understand that, Zerf. So keep the 24 land here since we're bringing in all the Angraths. How fast of a clock is this? Not very. Jeez. I mean, if we draw lands, this could this could win. We have like Firebrand on one, Gutter Bones on two, War Boss on three, and then Duress. It's all about the war boss. All right, got the swamp on top for the bones. Or 
could just duress instead of playing bones. Especially with them throwing the opt out there. Try to take Azkanta. If I take Azkanta, play gutter bones. So take Azkanta. Hmm. Azkanta and Reclamation. Needed that needed this land drop. If we hit this land drop with War Boss, I think we could have a chance of winning. Now we are probably going to be a t at least a turn too slow. I mean, it depends if we draw land next turn. Gutter Bones has two power. Orzhov Enforcer only has one power. Which is why I laid it there. But why did I leave Enforcer in the deck? I didn't really think about Enforcer too much, honestly. I should I should be taking out Enforcer over Priest. Like before I take out Priest, I should be taking out Enforcer. Yeah, I, I should just take this card out. Uh, sideboarding wise, I didn't really think of that card. I just kind of glanced over it when doing sideboarding. We would have had the, the war boss out a turn earlier. Would have been good. Oh my gosh, I just played the enforcer instead of priest. Definitely need to play priest here. I didn't even I just played the wrong card. Whoops. I definitely need priest in play right now. I could have put them down to three and drawn another card. And you know, with three with the firebrand, that's that means they're dead. Like they'd be dead next turn. But I think we're still a little too slow. Didn't quite hit that third land drop for War Boss. And they found another Ascanta. But we'll see. Maybe. You know, they're digging. Maybe they don't have a Nexus or. I mean, all they need is a Nexus or. Um, or a Fog. We could have beat a fog if I would have just played the priest last turn. We'd like to, I'd like to draw Angrath. Angrath's the card that just kind of wins here. Of course, they could have counter spell though. Mm, no Angrath. So, 
Lost for not playing Priest. But, I mean, they had that... I guess they had the Bounce spell. They could have and or should have Bounce my creature on their turn. Get to untap. Wind conditions, hydroid crisis. All I need to do is just take infinite turns and they'll have a way to win. We're not playing a deck that, like, we have not, we're not playing a deck that interacts with them enough to keep them from uh, being able to win. Root Snare we can beat. We can beat Root Snare. Hey Horatio, Saturday's not going too good with us playing Nexus here. I don't know, do y'all think that I should have taken the Reclamation with the Duress? Obviously they found another Ascanta. They could have also just found another Reclamation though. If I if I take the Reclamation, they get to play as Kanta on turn two and smooth out their draws and everything. Which can make it pretty tough. If I would have played the Priest, it wasn't, I didn't just have a win there if I would have played Priest instead of the Enforcer, because they had that Bounce spell in their hand, they would have just bounced during their turn. Uh, presumably they wouldn't have let me untap and kill them. Really, we, we need the land drop to hit the, the Legion War Boss a turn earlier, and we did not, we did not get that. That is what we needed there. But, you know, we had a mulligan and kept a one lander, and we tried with that. have multiple Judiths. They have like Counterspell, Mortify, that kind of stuff. Um, I'm throwing Judith out there instead of War Boss. Usually this would be like a better place to, you know, like War Boss would be a better card to have Resolve and, and everything, have it in play, but I'm not confident that it will and we got multiple Judiths. I faced undead. I think I'll get rid of these. This is Child's Play. I'm not dead yet. Try harder. Want something vanished? Funny, that's what I do. Okay, Kaya down. Let's get Phoenix out there in case of like a Kaya's Wrath. Let's have a. You attack there, you attack there, you attack there. And we'll mentor onto this thing. I it's looking pretty good for us. To attend to anyway.
Go, Phoenix, go. So that, that means they only have one black source, so no contempt. Hmm. Playing a war boss here could just turn on. What about settle? Could just turn on absorb. Kaya's Wrath even, you know, we still get the two Judith triggers there even with that. Alright, Coil's out. Angrath and Duress in. Coil and Priest out. And then uh, a couple Judiths. This is not really a spectacular matchup for Judith. Maybe all the Judiths. I think I want one Playcrafter. Or they randomly have like a Lyra. Or kill a Teferi or something like that. This one, Orzhov Enforcer is not as bad here. Like, this is, you know, removal heavy deck where Enforcer uh, is just two bodies. Which is nice. You know, it's just a, it's a one power body that, that whenever they sweep up the board it turns into another body. Kind of thing. Leading with gutter bones, getting getting this in play first. Yeah, you could yeah. Yep. If you don't have Phoenixes, you could you could use Spawn of Mayhem instead. Absolutely. And this is a time I'm glad we we have 24 lands right about now with this two lander and uh, mana cost cards of three 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 and four or and five now currently. Pretty glad we have. They cry the Carnarium. Ugh, another three. What happened to us? Like always flooding out so much previously. We spent so many games in a row flooding out and talking about how we're going to take a land out of the deck, and now this happens. Alright, one war boss gone. No, this is, this is 24 lands. <laughs> mm, no white mana for the opponent. I guess they do not have Cry of the Carnarium. That was the, the card that I was scared of with their hand. I guess they just have a bunch of white spells. So, opponent's mana base hurt them even more than it hurt than our mana base hurt us. We drew our third land. <laughs> Need 25 lands. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Good curve. Aww. No magic online still a thing. It is not uh, dead necessarily. Stomping ground, huh?
what I feel about what the Browns have done. I, I do not like the Browns, and I hope it doesn't work out. Uh, you know, as a Steelers fan, Browns being in our division, of course that's a team that I have, a team that I do not like. Um, also don't like how they picked up Kareem Hunt. Just another reason why I don't like him, so. Everybody is, they're like everybody's favorite team right now for getting Odell Beckham Jr., but I do not wish them well in the slightest. I should have played Firebrand also. That was my bad. Last turn, I should have just played Firebrand for haste last turn. Vikings and 49ers fan. I like the Vikings too. Um, Minnesota is... I like the Minnesota teams. Because I was born in Iowa, you know, that's why Hawkeyes named Hawkeyes after the Iowa Hawkeyes. And that's why I like the Steelers, is because they have the same colors as the Iowa Hawkeyes. But Minnesota is, like, the closest team to... Minnesota is the closest team to Iowa, so I like uh, Minnesota teams as well. Another reclamation deck. Pretty tough for us. We'll, we'll see how we do. No, he wasn't named after the superhero Hawkeye. Alright, no fogs, nothing like that. Alright, Enforcer out. And then, uh, I guess maybe... So I don't want to have just all threes and fours and stuff. I'm going to trim one Phoenix. No, maybe not the Phoenix. I don't really want these Priests of the Forgotten Gods, but I don't want to have all expensive stuff. Maybe one Phoenix, one Reaper, two Priest. Just kind of curve consideration-wise. All right, nice, Zerf. There we go. Got to get that flu back. Yeah, Pocket wants all the pets. Getting all those pets. Oh, I didn't take out Lava Coil? Whoops. Well, hopefully my opponent plays a random Rekindling Phoenix that I get to coil. Or, better yet, I don't draw it. Come on, lands. It's a good curve. Let's get those land drops. Nice to jam, yeah. Girl Frenzy is a lot of fun to play. So we got up next, nice. Yeah, that deck's a lot of fun to play. Come on, land. Ooh, got that land. Um, so they, which, if they have a counter spell here, which one would I rather get countered, War Boss or Judith? I guess probably Judith. So I want to save War Boss in case they have Fiery Cannonade and I could follow up with War Boss afterwards as like a, a one creature wrecking ball. All 
Alright, go war boss, go. Another cannonade. They're playing a cannonade there. They don't have any shocks or shipping fires. Hey, way to go, TG Chaos. Good job. You used uh, Zerf's Soul Tie Sanity to get to Mythic. Awesome. Um, let's go again. Since they used Fiery Cannonade last turn, I don't think that they have point removal, but you never know after, like, the Escanta, they could have found something. And I wanted to put pressure on them for, like, not, not allowing them to Chemistry's Insight this turn. Hey, fear the monkey. Yeah, I'll keep hitting you. That's a can, Archer. Owie. So one four with reach. Resolve, resolve, resolve. Resolve. <laughs> no fire. So I know I can steal no the archer steal. and, you know, hit them for four, and then the archer is gone. But I think just attacking my opponent's hand and trying to limit their resources uh, is going to be pretty important. Because even if they have, like, you know, keeping them from hitting land drops kind of thing is going to be nice. And if we keep them from having cards in hand, uh, it makes our, like, Judith better here. I don't know. It makes a lot of things better. We can try to get to this Angrath ultimate. They kind of have to kill us before that. I've weathered tougher storms. Never mind. Wilderness Reclamation can do things like that. So they had triple fiery cannonade. Let's get this other phoenix back. Oh, I didn't cut the coil. No. Hawkeye was in the way. I couldn't see the coil. I could only see the, the one, two at the top. Oh, hey, Dutch. Good afternoon. There you go. Yeah. Hope you can tune some of the frustration out and and hang out here. I haven't had as I did. <clears throat> the question is, what about playing Mardu with this deck so you can have Mortify? And I haven't had as much success playing the three colors with the aggro deck. It's just. It's been kind of too difficult against like other aggro decks having that kind of mana base of the three color. Like three color aggro is really difficult. You need like all your different colors early. It's, you know, it's a lot of shock lands. It's a lot of times you stumble because of like having two of your colors and your cards are your third color kind of thing. I think three color control is a lot easier. We don't necessarily need all your, your colors right away kind of thing. All right, so War Boss deals more damage. Midnight Reaper is better against a potential Fiery Cannonade. I think I'm going. I think I'm in for the damage, considering they'd have to, you know, have Red Source and Cannonade. Let's just get the damage going. Oh, thanks, Dutch.
Hey, Taylor. All right, what do we... All right, so they could cannonade, but we get to resolve Angrath. Or no, we're at we're at only three mana. We do not get to resolve Angrath. But they conceded. No cannonade. No win. All right, we are three and one. If I, if I cast the Reaper before attack, uh, the kitty's name is Hawkeye. If I cast the Reaper before the attack, they just cannonade in response if they had cannonade. I was thinking, I went to attacks because I was thinking I could play the Angrath second main, but I didn't realize we only had three lands in play. I couldn't see my mana base with where Hawkeye is at. Best of three. I only do best of three around here. Unless I have a donation deck for best of one. Yeah, and I do the events, like the pay a thousand gold and enter. All right, other angra. Ooh, that's a great draw. I was going to say other aggro is tough for us. Bye, Hawkeye. So I really want to wait till next turn before I start activating Priest because of Judith. Time to kill some stuff. Oh, I wanted to... I didn't get to activate the Firebrand in time. That's fine. I have not played a land yet, right? Yeah, so let's get this Reaper. Let's have this shoot both of these. And draw a card. That's why Firebrand's good. Opponent had so many creatures a little bit ago. They all they're all gone. Opponent, what happened? Alright, Plague Mare and Lava Coil coming on in. <laughs> that was a sick turn. And... What are we doing to taking out? Are we taking out Reaper against the aggro deck? This is one of our tougher matchups. It didn't seem like it that game, but we had a, you know, we had an awesome hand. And we were, like, we were on the play with an awesome hand. <clears throat> I, I would be a little surprised, like... I think we're probably not even favored to win the match, but that was an awesome game. Angrath is just my best card against control in the sideboard. Like it's it's just the best thing I can have against control, uh, and it's good against reclamation stuff too. So I got four of them because it is awesome, and I want it every game. War boss and midnight reaper are probably my weaker cards. Um. Go down two Reaper and three War Boss. The one one bodies just get swept up very quickly. Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry, Dutch. 
I don't know. Immortal Sun costs a lot of mana. It costs six mana. I mean, I think Angrath is better than Immortal Sun. Uh, in our deck, Spectral Out only costs five. Um, and it, it does a whole lot. Like, you know, it, it finishes games off. Like, we can certainly, like, get to the point, like, where we can't deal the last points of damage kind of thing. And, and Angrath does deal the last points of damage. Usually, my opponent's Planeswalkers aren't the cards that I'm the most worried about. I should have cut a land, probably, without bringing in Angrath and on the draw. I, think I probably could have cut a land. No, Frenzy could be good in this deck. The biggest problem with Frenzy is the main control deck. Um, which is, you know, Esper. That's like the, the main matchup you'd want your Frenzy against Esper is they, they're playing four Mortifies. Mnemonic Betrayal. <laughs> that card's rough. This is a really rough turn for us to take off. We have so many threes and not having a single one. And our threes are our important cards. You know, like Judith or Plague Mare. Even at this point, for how this, this matchup has gone, you know, having a war boss here would have been really good. Having nothing to do there on turn three, that was really rough. I should have attacked with the gutter bones first. It's it's good to attack before you play your stuff, so you, like my opponent has a lot more information about what my turn like now my opponent knows what my turn looks like with Phoenix and everything. I should just attack with the gutter bones first. Uh there's not a good easy way to change basic lands right now. We have tribunal also. I mean, I, I want to coil the, the Marshal, but realistically, I think I have to get rid of the Flyer, because even if I coil the Marshal, they still have a 2-2 two -two lifelink Flyer, and, and you know, where we're at here. Alright, trying a third game. Like I mentioned, this is a tough matchup for us. Cut a land. For a war boss. So we're on the play at least, but uh, we'll see if we can find um, Priest of the Forgotten Gods, have that out in play and untap with it like we were able to the first time. Now they have a whole lot more enchantment removal though with Baffling Ends and stuff in their deck too. So this is going to be tough. Yeah, yeah, Badonk, you're good. Oh, but, uh, yeah, there you go, Badonk, yeah, 
what he's saying about how to change basic lands, that's that's what you need to do. It's a pretty big pain of having to export, change lands, import kind of thing. winning. Not winning in the slightest. So, if I, yeah, I need to play this thing. I could have played the war boss and snuck in like a, a token to attack that we could have untapped with the a next turn, but we gotta have I gotta have the death touch enforcer in play here. That's our that's our worst matchup. They were talking about like bad matchups. That's that's the worst one. We got the first game. The opponent having a slow hand, us having a really good hand. Uh, but they are just way way too aggressive for our deck. They're a lot more aggressive than we are, and we don't have defensive elements that can really uh, handle history. Turn three history, turn four history plus Venerate Luxodon, and then uh, the unbreakable formation. There just can't. <laughs> We're not going to have like cards that beat that kind of thing. We need Priest and Judith, uh, that combo. Like, as we saw game one, that combo where, like, the Judith's pinging off all the stuff. Um, so, yeah. Still a, a good showing, though, for our deck. 3-2, we, we ran into our really bad matchup. Uh, we, we won one of the games, and so that's okay. And then we also just lost to a Reclamation player. Um, you know, that and that happens, too. Uh, didn't didn't have as good of hands for us that game, but our deck looks pretty nice. So I think it's probably good to cut the land, and maybe just overall, maybe we don't even need a land in the sideboard. Playcrafter and Bedevil are our worst two cards, honestly, and we probably just need Ritual of Soots if. Instead of Playcrafter and Bedevil. And then I think I think we could probably just even go 23 even against Control with bringing in Angraths. Because of like Midnight Reaper and stuff. I think I'm willing just to play 23 with Angraths. I, think, I don't think that's, you know, um, too difficult or anything like that. So if we if we do cut a land, we we free up an extra space in our main deck. We could play another coil main. We could just have an Angrath in the main. Um, no, reassembling skeleton is not a standard playable card. It is much too weak. Hmm. Probably good just to have a second coil main. Which then means we have a, another sideboard slot available. A 
and I haven't been too happy with Theater of Horrors in this deck. Drill bit. I think the next card may just be another drill bit. Just just like basically a fifth discard spell. Yeah, I like that. Okay. <laughs> so there we go. I think that's that's what the updates I think I would uh make here to the to the Judith Priest deck uh for the next time that we play it. Um I think uh yeah, I think that, that could help. The ritual of sets are like what you really need for those kind of matchups, uh, like mono white. Uh, that's like, that's, you know, I think we, I think we have the room in the sideboard for that, and I think I'm willing to do 23 lands. So there we go. Um, spyglass for the sideboard. No, I, I think I'd rather just have drill bit than spyglass. Yeah, I'd I'd rather have drill bit there. Uh, for the for those control matchups. <clears throat> yep, Gruel Frenzy's up next. All right, so if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.